Hey, let's have an open and honest discussion about school dances, some of the observations that I've witnessed, and some incredible song suggestions that have just come in on our DJ playlist group on Facebook. If you haven't had a chance to join, currently we're sitting at 33,000 DJs who are discussing music daily. And most recently, we asked about homecoming season. Now, for those of you living abroad, homecoming, it's about the time when all the kids are coming back to school. There's usually pep rallies, football games. It is, in essence, the first dance party of the school year. And let me tell you, as admin of the playlist group, I'm receiving a request for homecoming playlists daily. I'm hearing you loud and clear. Some of you are nervous about DJing school dances. I've been at this hosting school dances for 20 years. And unlike weddings, unlike dance clubs, school dances are the most nerve-wracking events that you will ever endure. In no way am I trying to talk you out of it. But let me try and break down some of the grueling things you have to go through in order to get a full dance floor, which at the end is the ultimate payoff. If you can capture their attention, if you can gather up all that energy and play the right music at the right time, you'll probably have more people on that dance floor than most of you will ever have in your career. It's larger than weddings. It's a mini concert in itself. And today I'm gonna lace you with so many heavy hitters, so many great song choices, that I'm gonna save that part to the end. If you really wanna skip to the back end of the chapters, it's there for you, but I've got some advice to help you alleviate the stress and feel a little bit more comfortable behind the decks so you can have a flawless school dance. You ready? Let's dive in. First off, my name is Aaron Trailer. I live in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm also the co-creator of Crate Hackers, software that simply helps DJs find music faster. Before we set you up with some amazing song suggestions, I'm gonna give you three observations and tips to help you smash this school dance. Number one, always budget for someone else to join you. Again, if I didn't paint the picture earlier, you'll be hauling in a larger sound system than you bring normally. Your light show will probably be double or triple. In many cases, you'll probably need more than one vehicle, and that'll be good for an emergency run if needed. Having that second person can be handy in a number of ways. If they're comfortable as a DJ, they can mix with you. If they're comfortable on the microphone or vice versa, you can share the responsibilities. Obviously, load in is much easier with a second person, and if you both are really into it, it creates for a really energetic performance. Number two, and I'm really being mindful of not giving you the cliche advice like play clean music or talk to your clients. We all know this. I would say number two on the list is find a way to funnel in the requests. You gotta understand if you're on stage or near the dance floor, they're gonna come to you and ask for songs. Now there's software like Request Now that allows that where you can put a QR code on the screen and allow them to text there, that's great. Even having a notepad or an iPad at the table next to you, that's really handy for when it gets too loud and you can't hear each other. One bit of advice would be find that one kid who might be interested in what you're doing. There's always that kid who didn't come with a date that's peeking over your shoulder. I like to task them with the responsibility of being the request person. It gives them a sense of responsibility. And again, it's another assistant to help you throughout the night and finding out what those students really want. And before I give you my last bit of advice, please hit the subscribe button because all we're gonna do on this channel is talk about music for DJs, when to play it, how to play it, why to play it. Hit like, hit subscribe. We're seriously passionate about playlists. My number one observation comes with a story. I remember playing Lil Nas X and Old Town Road, and, and clearly there was a football team on the dance floor. You could tell because they were wearing their jerseys and they were trying to really own the audience's attention. Clearly they didn't like the song. Once I pushed play on the song, which was a hit back on the radio at that time, one of the football players showed his disapproval of the song with his body language and he was doing the, they do this a lot, the cut it out. The next thing you know, the rest of the football players are joining in. The kids surrounding the football players who want to be in the popular club, they started joining in. And next thing you know, it was a full-on revolt against the DJ. They sat down on the floor. Instead of dancing, they all just decided to sit there through the entire night. There was nothing I could do or play that could really save that day. Now, I was up in the top rafters. They had me on the second floor overlooking the dance floor. There's about 500 kids down there, right? And there would be the long staircases that go up and towards the back where I was performing. Anytime a kid wanted to make a song request, they'd have to go through the action of going up two flights of stairs and down a long corridor just to come talk to me. I kid you not. 
The dance floor parted like the Red Sea, and there was a line of kids that were coming towards the DJ booth from both ends. Now, I didn't heed my own advice, and I didn't bring my assistant. I didn't have an iPad for requests. And the only way for them to break this whole thing up was to hand the microphone to the principal, who told everyone to make their way back to the dance floor. And instead of doing that, they parted and hung out like wallflowers and didn't dance the rest of the night. Somehow, some way, Old Town Road ruined the night for them. I, I still don't understand why. But it was a snowball effect. And I'm speaking from experience. If you don't get these kids on your good side in a number of different ways, and as early out of the gates as they arrive, it's going to be an uphill battle. So I would imagine the tip out of this number one piece of advice is don't do what I did. <laughs> don't be like me. However, I picked myself back up and I did it again the following weekend. That other school danced all night. By the way, it was the school rivals across town. <laughs> yeah, they won the football game against their rival. <laughs> it's moments like this where I want to double down on my efforts to prepare. 20 years of doing this, and I hope you see the common thread throughout this. It's music. It makes or breaks a party. So let's get you equipped with that, okay? DJ Playlist Group, we had over 14,000 people reached on this post. Let's go through a few of the song suggestions. Gunna from Chris Withrow, for sure. This is a good one from Sean. He did Turn Down For What at a homecoming last Saturday, and at the very end of the last buildup, did a hard cut into the intro guitar for Party in the USA, and they ate that up too. That's one thing I want to bring up is how you transition in school dances really matters. A few things you have to consider. Underage kids have never been to an adult nightclub before. They have not been fully versed in the art of mashups, blends, or unfamiliar music. Suddenly a thought entered into my head. I'm pretty sure I played some wild remix of Old Town Road. It wasn't the original. It was like some EDM. Ah, oh, see? I'm learning as I go here, people. They're used to hearing what's on the radio, what's on Spotify. And unless you're really skilled at layering songs and blending, many of them are going to turn a blind eye to it and not really understand what you did. So Sean did it great with that transition where he played two songs, probably the original edits, let a majority of Turn Down For What play through, and was not afraid to play the intro of Party in the USA. Sometimes you just got to let songs breathe. Mobamba, No Hands, Keisha Cole, Love, You Bring It To Me, some of the biggest songs of the week for James. I would say depending on your market, ABBA, Dancing Queen works well. This is some good advice from Ian Long, Swag Surfing from Duke, Annalie Chopper, and the uh, remix of Hot In Here, It's Getting Hot. Yeah, definitely play the clean edit of that, but it's great. Chase said, Yeah by Usher. Yeah by Usher. That song's been around for two decades now. Try to wrap your head around that. <laughs> wow. Got to give a shout out to uh, Kurt Disney who said, Paint the Town Red from Doja Cat, Goaded by Armani White, Morgan Wallen, Last Night, Kali with Area Codes, and Delhi Ice Spice. These would be the top five that I would pick for sure. Add that to your crate if you're doing a school dance this month. Ski ye, oh man. Pound Town, Sexy Reds, boy. How hard in the paint can you go with music? Sure, you can play all the clean edits you want, but is that going to stop them from shouting the words over the lyrics? These are awesome. Take a look at these. just came in from Rick Porter, who took snapshots of songs that came in. He took the advice of having a notepad next to his DJ booth. And I would say pause this video. Go ahead and screenshot that. Here's another one. See, this is such good intel. It really is. The Bad Bunny in all caps. I love it. Kudos to this person. So you're starting to get a really good idea of what the kids want now. And even though I've had some clanger events, I've had some banger parties. I've had the roof sailing before, and I believe that you can too, but learn from your lessons. One school may not do so well, but I guarantee the one soon after will make up for it. Don't be afraid to reach out for advice from your fellow DJ. And I think we're turning a quarter in the industry where some of us are starting to realize that, yes, I do need a community of DJs to keep me on the straight and narrow. So much like that dance floor congregating, we as DJs need to do the same and have these discussions on the daily. I can't stress how amazing the Crate Hackers community is, where all we do is build crates. In fact, our latest crate is school dance number 15 in mixable order. I'm going to give this crate to you right now for free. In fact, I'm giving you all of my crates. I've uploaded over a thousand myself, personally, and they're yours. Seven days of Crate Hackers. Click the link below, get started. There we go, hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a hot topic. We're in the midst of the school season. I'm just here to put you in that mindset, get that music tight, and help you fill those floors. Best of luck to you. Let me know how you did in the comments. 
I'd love to hear about your favorite school dance party of the season. I'm going to reply to every comment below for sure. For the Crate Hackers, I'm Aaron Trailer. Happy hacking! <laughs>